So it's going to mean more local businesses will be preparing to reopen, rushing to make that happen. Toronto looking to break a vaccination record. There's a lot to discuss here. Mayor John Tory joins us now for his weekly check-in. Good morning to you, Mayor Tory. Good morning, Mel. May, may I just say before we talk about those things, you know, when you see that building in Miami, people who get mm. frustrated with building codes and building inspections should understand uh, here, where I think we do quite well at this, that's why you have those kinds of things. Because I think you'll find that with some kind of catastrophic failure in that building, it wasn't a bomb that went off. It's extraordinary. Yeah. Uh, and the other thing is just that I hope people on Canada Day, as we approach Canada Day, will spend a bit of time, you know, that day reflecting on what's gone on and continues to go on with our Indigenous communities and the residential schools. So, you know, Canada Day is still something to be celebrated, but maybe, you know, w with a b real serious reflection this year on that stuff because you know because this is just searing and I, I know you know you know everybody knows that mayor Tory actually let, let's begin there then because a, a lot of uh, municipalities are being called on to cancel Canada Day uh, we've seen in the region of Waterloo we've seen other regions across the country saying they're going to replace it with different sorts of reflection and celebration of the indigenous community what are the plans for the city of Toronto well, we, we had cancelled all of our kind of regular Canada Day celebrations anyway because of the COVID and the need to do advanced planning on that. And so as of this moment, uh, really uh, what we're doing is asking people to reflect. And I've, I've incorporated that into my Canada Day message and I've been talking about it now. I don't think it is suitable myself. Uh, you know, I don't think it's the right way to go about this to cancel Canada Day. I think there's still a lot to celebrate in this country, including the fact that, you know, we, we do care enough uh, about, about some of the shameful parts of our history and so on to reflect on this and do something about it. And, you uh, you know, we have a lot of projects that are going on at the city. I think the Indigenous communities would uh, acknowledge that. Uh, I've been meeting with them on a very, very regular, frequent basis over the number of months before these terrible discoveries. But I think that, uh, you know, we really should just make sure each and every one of us that we, you know, reflect on, learn about this history, which, uh, you know, I was a history student in university and we didn't study about this very much, hardly at all. And I think we've got to remedy that and kind of understand completely how that can carry with the trauma that goes on for generations. So, um, you know, so I, I think we'll have Canada Day. Canada is a great country with many things going for it. But uh, we have these shameful parts of our history we have to reflect on and then do something about the, the you know, the way in which we don't uh, equitably support uh, Indigenous communities uh, today in the context of helping them to, uh, you know, not only have opportunity but to recover from some of these things that have happened not that long ago. Mm -hmm. Indeed, a lot of work to be done. Uh, Mayor Tory, I want to uh, rewind, and actually not even a rewind. Look, look right now, we have a live look outside Trinity Bellwoods Park, and uh, I want to talk about what happened on Tuesday with the police response and the clearing of the encampments, the dismantling of the encampments. I understand that you have said that there will be a review of how this was all handled. The Toronto police have uh, defended their position, saying they had done it in, in a way that was peaceful. We still see the barriers up right now. What will this review look like? Well, I think people are frankly uh, over uh, blowing the, the word review as if there was something that went wrong. I don't really know. I think a lot of things went right in the context of there not being serious injuries, of the fact that uh, the the people were kept safe, both the people experiencing homelessness and the city staff, uh, and that, uh, you know, uh, while there was uh, some tumultuous uh, kind of demonstration that went on, and, and the demonstrators have to, you know, in some respects be held to account for that state, that the police uh, did a good job. So I, but I think review is being meant in my case to say a debriefing that you would have where you'd say well how could we do better I think you always want to ask yourselves that when it comes to you know something that involves um, you know large numbers of people and large deployments of police and are there different and better ways you could have done that so I, I, I said very clearly yesterday and I repeat it today I think the police did a good job of uh, keeping people safe that's what the whole idea was of their presence there and frankly had there been no demonstrators had it simply been a continuing dialogue between our city streets to homes workers and the parks and recreation workers who were trying to take away unsafe unhealthy illegal uh, encampments and at the same time to make sure that the people who were living there uh, had uh, safe indoor accommodations, there wouldn't have been need for any police. I mean, if it was just the city workers and the uh, people who are experiencing homelessness, there would have been the need for no police. Um, so in any event, uh, I think that it's one of those things where I think we have to move forward with this work. We have to be, I've called it compassionate, at the same time firm in establishing the principle that a park is no safe place, no healthy place, no legal place for people uh, to make their homes. And that we have a responsibility, as we have carried out, to offer people alternatives, which we continue to do and will continue to do. Um, and so, uh, you know, that's uh, where things stand today. Mayor Tory, how, how much is the city committed to making that long term? Uh, there's the argument that 
the alternative is also not safe, um, seeing a rise in some violent incidents within some of the shelters or in some of these hotels, as mentioned. Um, how safe is it and how much is the city committed to helping? Well, the city is committed to the tune of millions and millions of dollars and, by the way, putting to work millions and millions of dollars coming from the federal government and, uh, to some extent, from the provincial government. And I give them credit, especially the federal government, for helping us. But in the end, I've had not a shred of help from the people who are in the, in the, that are very loud to show up at, at these protests and, and try and obstruct the work that the city is doing to help bring people safely inside in, in advocating to the other governments. Uh, you know, they're, they're big on the protests and not so big on helping with regard to the cause of getting more help. But we are, we are building, for example, more supportive housing units that has been done in decades uh, in the city at one time. And the supportive housing means housing where people can have a real home, not a tent in a park, and can get the supports they need to deal with some issues they have in their lives. And a lot of the other alternatives that have been offered to people that are experiencing homelessness in parks are hotel rooms. Mm -hmm. and, and hotel rooms, I mean, people will know what a hotel room is. It is not something that by definition is um, is going to be the way they've described it. And so, uh, look, I, I just we, we just carry on to do the very best that we can. We've moved hundreds of people successfully from encampments into safer indoor housing, hundreds of people during the course of the pandemic. We will continue to work hard to do that. And I wish we could have the support of some of the people who, um, you know, who uh, you see on television uh, causing the need for there to be a lot of police to come when we're just trying to convince people to go indoors and explain to them we can't have uh, encampments in parks indefinitely. Uh, Mayor Tory, we've run out of time for this part of the interview, but I do want to talk to you about step two of possibly reopening early next week, plus the mass vaccination clinic happening this weekend. So with that, we're going to go on over to Dina. Thank you for, for this week. Okay.